Hello everyone. In this short video, I want to go over how to uh, convert uh, an effective interest rate for one period of time to an effective interest rate for uh, another period of time. And in previous courses, I honestly didn't really uh, go over this much and most students basically kind of figured it out on, on their own and some really didn't, or, or rather I, I did kind of this in examples, but I never really used, you know, turned it into a formula. So I think it's a good idea to do that. So um, I'm going to introduce this via an example, um, and I'm going to solve that example in a fairly straightforward way. So the problem is as follows. Find... I don't think this is worthy of writing my own, another PowerPoint for. So, um, so let's find the effective uh, four month interest rate J if the three month Uh, sorry about that. If the three months effective interest rate is 1%. So we're given a three month effective interest rate, find the effective four month interest rate. So I'm not doing anything nominal. There's no nominal interest here. Everything is um, effective uh, interest, right? So uh, how do we do this? Well, I think, uh, well, I'm gonna give a formula in a moment, but to understand the formula, I think it's good to just do this easy example. So, um, uh, and honestly, you know, I might forget the formula. And if I do forget the formula, this is how I would do the problem. Uh, so let's say we let I be uh, the effective uh, equivalent annual interest rate. Sometimes I'll say the equivalent effective annual interest rate. I mean exactly the same thing. Uh, it's just a one year interest rate corresponding to um, basically our situation here. So to make clear, we have one single effective equivalent annual interest rate in this problem. Um, it's not like I really have two diff completely different um, so maybe to make this a little clear, uh, I should probably put in here the equivalent effective four month interest rate if the three month effective interest rate is 1%. So uh, it, we, it's really the same interest rate. It's just, uh, we're looking at different time periods. So I wanna find the equivalent uh, effective four month interest rate corresponding to a three month interest rate of 1%. Okay, so, um, right, so one plus I then, the growth factor corresponding to one year is very simply going to be, well, we compound 1% growth four times to get one year because um, the three month interest rate is 3% four periods of three months is one year. So this is 1.01 uh, to the fourth. And I'm gonna leave this alone. I don't wanna put it into a calc in a calculator just yet. However, well, whatever J is, if I compound that corresponding growth three times, I'll get one plus I. 
J is a four month interest rate. So compound that three times, you get one year's worth of growth. And that one year worth of growth is one plus I. So we compound this interest rate three times to get one plus J, we get the one year growth factor again, because J is a four month interest rate. You compound that three times to get yearly growth. Okay, now again, this is equivalent. So I is the same for both of these situations. It's just, we have one single yearly growth. Um, so what I'm saying is these two are going to be equal. So I set these two to be equal. One plus J uh, cubed is 1.01 .01 to the fourth. So we solve for J very simply, raise both sides to the one third, subtract one. And so we get J is 1.01 .01 to the four thirds minus one, and this equals 0.01336. Okay. And um, yeah, you should directly check that if I take J to be 0.01336, add one to it, raise it to the third, that's the same thing as 1.01 .01 to the fourth. You're gonna be a little off with uh, rounding, but um, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, I mean, cause I did round here. Okay, so this leads to the following formula. And I'm gonna go through deriving the formula just because um, I think it makes the formula a lot clearer and it, it's, it's more obvious where this formula comes from. So let's say we have a general situation of if J M, so we're given, um, let's say, uh, yeah, so let's say uh, we are given a um, interest rate of J N. So if J N is, um, the effective interest rate for a period, uh, let's say one over N years, then the uh, equivalent at, uh, effective interest rate uh, JM, get a little neater, for a period uh, of one over M years. And that's why I'm using JN and JM so that there's no confusion. JN uh, is an interest rate for a period one over N years. JM is the equivalent interest rate for a period of one over M years. Um, so maybe let's word it like this. Okay. So this right here is what I'm given. I want to solve for what I'm putting in uh, blue, okay? Okay, so yeah, so if we have this, then uh, again, let's say I is the equivalent effective uh, annual interest rate. So let's just, I have JM right here. So I simply compound this interest rate or I compound the growth corresponding to this interest rate JM 
m times, I get the one year growth factor. That's exactly how I'm describing JM. We have an equivalent effective interest rate JM for a period of one over m years. One plus JM is growth for a period of one over m years. We compound that growth m times to get the yearly growth. Well, the same thing applies for JN. The growth So the growth uh, for a period of one over n years corresponding to this interest rate Jn is one plus Jn. We compound that growth n times, we get yearly growth. Now we're dealing with equivalent interest rates. So th this, it's the same one year growth. That's basically what it means to have an equivalent interest rate. So we just simply uh, set these two uh, to be equal. So in some sense, I don't really care about I, it just helps me understand how to do this problem. Uh, and we get the formula, which you can remember if you so desire. Um, I don't know if it's better to remember it or not, but... Um, I honestly just went through this whole procedure, you know, kind of like, uh, kind of like here. This is basically how I would honestly do it. Just, just write one plus i is one point oh one to the fourth. That equals one plus j to the third. So then just solve for j. But it's up to you. So anyway, this is my uh, formula. It's one plus j to the n raised to the power n over m minus uh, one. And again, this is, if we're given Jn, the interest rate for a period of one over n years, and we wanna find Jm, the equivalent interest rate for a period of one over m years, right? All right, so let's just uh, plug and chug into a similar example. Um, and I'm gonna end this video with this example. This is not a super deep concept, I think that requires multiple examples, but uh, so we want to find the effective. And I should mention, there's not gonna be homework directly on this, but we'll occasionally have to use this formula from time to time. Uh, so, so we wanna find the, um, I keep forgetting to say the equivalent equivalent effective uh, interest rate J if um, the effective Uh, sorry. So I want the effective uh, two month interest rate J if the effective six month interest rate is two uh, percent. So N is what we're given. N is the, the you know, uh, corresponding to the interest rate we're given. So six months corresponds to one half of a year. So, um, so here N equals two. Uh, what we're trying to find is the interest rate corresponding to a two month period, which is one over six years. Uh, two over 12 is one over six. Uh, so um, M equals six. So my formula, in my formula rather, JN is um, uh, 0.02 as a decimal. And of course, uh, you know, this formula requires 
everything's in decimals. So. And so we get the formula and uh, you should check that you get the same answer if you do it through this formula as you would if you do it kind of the way we started off. So J, um, which is JM, the equivalent six, uh, the equivalent two month interest rate uh, is 1.02 to the two over six minus one, and you get 1.00662, uh, sorry, 0.00662. Yeah, and you can check that this corresponds to the same yearly growth very easily. Maybe that's actually just a good check if you're going to use this formula. Um, if this is the uh, um, two month interest rate, then 1.00662 is a two month growth factor. Compound that six times. Uh, you should check, you'll get the same answer as if you, you compound 1.02 twice. What I mean by that is 1.00662 raised to the sixth should give you the same answer as 1.02 squared, compounding 2% <laughs> squared, sorry, compounding 2% twice to get the yearly uh, growth factor. So yeah, 1.00662 raised to the sixth should give you the same answer as 1.02 squared. And it does, I think it's 1.04, uh, I forget what it is, but it gives you the same answer. All right, hopefully this helped. Uh, if there's any questions, uh, let me know. Um, and um, yeah, so long, take care. And remember the exam is next Friday. This Friday we have a quiz. Um, so today being February 23rd.